Hi, thanks for joining us. Today we're talking with Matt Loeb, who is a recent addition to the board of the ethical technology company Bubbler. Matt, thank you very much for being here today. Carrie, it's a pleasure to join you today. Matt, you've accomplished a lot in your career. What attracted you to join Bubbler's advisory board? And how can your knowledge and career experience help the company achieve its disruption goal? Terry, I was recently watching a TEDx video by a gentleman named uh, Len Kleinrock, who pioneered the, the ARPANET, which was the seedling to what has emerged uh, today as what we know as the internet. And his talk was entitled, What Happened to the Internet I Knew? And the uh, talk by Kleinrock reminded me uh, that the internet was built on the premise of a value system that included trust, openness, free sharing, and ethical use, with its original intent being to fuel the collective intelligence and exchange of information in the, of the, the research community. But Kleinrock, who I, I, I not only met but worked with, um, went on to say that over the past 25 years, those values have been eroding and that today's internet is actually making it difficult to discern truthful information from fake. It's making it difficult for us as individuals to know whether our privacy is being protected or it's being compromised. And it also raises the question about the internet's ability to support free enterprise where companies, whether you're big, medium, or small, can compete fairly. So it's actually this, these challenges that I've cited that has attracted me to Bubbler. And I believe that my experience in the technology, information publishing, and nonprofit sectors will be an asset to, publisher, uh, to Bubbler as it pursues its mission. Now, as a veteran of the technology and not-for-profit space, and as an NACD board leadership fellow, how will your experience help guide Bubbler in its early stages of growth? My work in publishing has always been about delivering new value from information, leveraging di digital technology capabilities. And my work in this space has been driven by the assurance that that information could be trusted. So as digital technology capabilities have been maturing, I've also had to take a look at the risk side of things, recognizing that in order to yield the good that technology has to offer, we also have to be cognizant that there's malfeasance that can take place. So I'm also very tuned in to the issues of security and privacy, which are critical areas that have to be addressed if we can ensure a trusted online environment. And finally, my board work has grounded me in the importance of governance, which serves as both a control and an enabler of a growth-oriented company. So my personal hope is that the, con the combination of these three things, trusted information, secure platforms and a commitment to individual privacy and providing leadership and governance will contribute to Bubbler's growth, not only during the early stages of the company, but also for the longer term. What about Bubbler's business model makes you think that they can achieve their goal of disrupting the current online economies of big tech? Yeah, I, I can answer this very short and to the point. I think there are two things. First and foremost, the Bubbler business model is rooted in trust. Second, the notion of returning the internet to its intended purpose will really take a collective effort of various stakeholders, and in particular, companies and citizen consumers. And to affect this change, these stakeholders need help. So Bubbler's platform will be the enabler that can provide that help as needed by these by these stakeholders. Matt, why do you believe that leveling the online playing field so small to medium-sized enterprises can compete is so important? You know, this is a, a really good question and, and we have to start by, by reflecting on, on history. Characteristic of a healthy economy is one where 
where vibrant small and medium uh, sized enterprises can provide a nice balance to the operations of the, the large and behemoth corporations. And this is because the small and the medium enterprises are linked to things like job creation, especially when we look uh, at them operating in local and economically developing communities. And these small and medium enterprises also cultivate entrepreneurs and innovation, which are really at the cornerstone of how our society has developed over time. So the principles don't apply to just what happened during our history of brick and mortar operations. It actually applies in the online environment as well. And it's a basic tenet of how Bubbler can help reverse and reduce the imbalance that big companies have in the way that the internet is operating today. Bubbler defines itself as an ethical tech company. Can you give us your definition of what ethical tech should do? And given your experience, how do you ensure ethics stay at the forefront when dealing with shareholder value? You know, the best way for me to answer that is to begin with a little story. Uh, when I became CEO of ISACA, I joined an organization that viewed itself focused on technology risks, technology governance, security, and technology audit. And I felt that those things were, were kind of sterile because they were things that were just a normal part of the function of companies today. But I felt that rooted in there was something a whole lot more. And so when I engaged our professional community and our customers, we collectively recognized that ISACA's true purpose was to help society realize the positive potential of technology. And technology is indeed for good. But to realize that good, we also need to mitigate the so-called dark side. So in consideration of this, the guiding mantra for an ethical technology company should be that there's just never a wrong time to do the right thing. So fast forwarding to today, companies and their boards are focused on the concept of ESG, environmental, social, and governance. And for Bubbler, I see the company with a laser focus on the S, the social, restoring trust, openness, free sharing, and ethical practices, inclusive of protecting privacy and providing a level playing field for commerce to the internet, is how shareholders will evaluate Bubbler as a good place to invest and how to measure Bubbler in terms of our future contributions to uh, the company's success. That's fantastic. Yes, thank you very much. There's uh... Clearly a lot of optimism for Bubbler's future and its mission is very important, perhaps more now than ever before. So we hope that you'll come back and update us soon. I look forward to that opportunity and thanks very much for having me today. Karen. Thank you very much, Matt Loeb. Appreciate your time.